are now starting with another kingdom that is kingdom fungi. In kingdom fungi, when we classify it, we include all multicellular eukaryotic organisms. There is an exception here that is of yeast. So amongst fungi, most of them are multicellular, all are eukaryotic, but yeast is unicellular. So this is an exception that is of yeast. It is unicellular. When we come to this group, we'll be talking about the detailed structure and the life cycle of yeast also. Now let us first talk about the general characters of the fungi and then we'll come to the classification. All these fungi, their body is made up of thread-like structures. And these thread-like structures, they are known as hypha or hyphae. These hyphae can be unbranched or branched and they can be septate or aseptic. So if we talk of septate and aseptate, what does it mean? Suppose this is one thread, this is the hypha, here is one more and this compartmentation is taking place because of formation of this membrane. So each compartment has a single nucleus. Whereas in the other one, these septa which should have been there are not there. So what happens because of these septa being absent? The nuclei which would have been in each compartment, now they are seen everywhere. So this hypha gives an appearance of a multinucleated structure, whereas here we see a uninucleated segment. And this partition which we have drawn is called the septum. So here it is aseptate hypha and this is the septate one. Aseptate is considered as a lower uh, category or property, whereas septate are considered as higher fungi. So those fungi which would have septate, they would be placed under higher fungi. They do not have chlorophyll, no pigments for photosynthesis and that's why they are saprophytic. That means they obtain their nourishment from dead and decaying matter and the digestion which takes place is extracellular. What happens in extracellular digestion is that from these high fee digestive juices, the enzymes would be secreted on that dead and decomposing matter. Digestion is going to take place outside the cell and <coughs> The digested food is getting absorbed. This is called the saprophytic mode of nutrition. Some of them are parasitic also. So some fungi are parasitic and very few are also found as symbiotic. We'll take all these examples one by one. The cell is surrounded by cell wall. <coughs> so they have ce sorry, cell wall and this cell wall is made up of a substance which is called chitin. Chitin is a homopolysaccharide made up of N-acetyl glucose amine and it is a homopolysaccharide. So this N-acetyl uh, glucosamine, it makes a polymer and that polymer is called chitin. Chitin is soft and leathery substance. It is the same chitin which is found in the exoskeleton of arthropods. But in arthropoda, in this chitin, calcium salts get deposited so it becomes hard. But in case of fungi, it is not hard, it becomes or it remains soft and leathery layer. So just a general structure. Now coming to the classification of fungi. When we talk of fungi, we are actually talking about the true fungi which are known as U 
my cities and this group is divided into two categories on the basis of presence and absence of septa so if it is a septic then it is considered as lower group so these are lower fungi and if they are septate then this group is considered of higher fungi so this is the first classification the lower fungi group is known as phycomycetes now this phycomycetes group is further divided and this division is on the basis of whether they have flagellate members or not so the group which has flagellate members any member it could be just the gamete or a spore or anything if they have flagellate member then it is called mastigomycetes this group is called mastigomycetes and if there is no flagellate member then the group is known as zygomycetes we have to talk about few groups in detail and this is one in zygomycetes we'll be talking about rhizopus and mucor so we'll take these two examples and study their life cycle now let us come to this other group this is divided into three categories on the basis of what is that reproductive structure if the reproductive structure is ascus then the group will be called ascomycetes and in this we take two examples one is of yeast and the other is of penicillium and we'll be talking about the life cycles of both the second group is where the reproductive structure reproductive structure is basidium then the group is known as basidiomycetes basidiomycetes and in this we'll take the example of mushroom that is agaricus and the third group is known as deuteromycetes deuteromycetes and deuteromycetes group is known as fungi imperfecti fungi imperfecti and the reason why they are called fungi imperfecti is that there is no sexual reproduction in this group in this group deuteromycetes there is no sexual reproduction and that's why they are called fungi imperfecti so we'll be talking about all of these in detail and we'll take up these examples like we'll be talking about rhizopus and mucor then we'll take yeast and penicillium we'll talk about agaricus also and we'll take certain examples of deuteromycetes also so from the next uh, video we'll start with individual groups and the members in that